this video I'm gonna show you a simple EMA cross strategy that you can use with the default Binance EMAs that they show you on their phone app right so when you open your Binance application you're gonna see that they have uh, on default if you put up the indicators the EMA ones EMA stands for exponential moving average then you'll see that they have the the seven which is in this case gonna be the pink line the 25 which is the blue one and the 99 which is yellow or orange in this chart so I the, the whole thing about moving average is that you you buy when the fastest in this case the 7 crosses above the 25 or sell on the when it crosses below when the 7 crosses below 25 now that, that will, that's going to be one of our conditions to buy and then to sell we're going to use other conditions anyway so let's say you have bought here right the cross happens in this candle right in this candle it happens so it will have bought here and then you use a 10% stop loss right so if you use a 10% stop loss you will get a stop out that's fine whatever so let's see another trade Okay, here again it crosses, right? It was below, now it's above, then crosses, so you have bought here. Again, the stop loss, 10%. Now to take profits, right, depending on your strategy, uh, it could be on the, the cross, uh, the negative cross, which will be roughly around here. Let me see, maybe, the, yeah, here. Or you could use a take profit, right? It depends on your strategy. Now, in this case, I want to point out that on this strategy that I that I want to show you has two buy conditions. One is the seven crosses above the 25, knowing that on the candle before was below, and now it's above. And I want to buy if we have a retest of EMA 99. So. A retest, it, it, it's it's perfectly shown here, right? So the candle before, it, it touches it. And now on this candle, which will be the la latest candle, the low was below the EMA, but the close of the candle is above, meaning that there was a retest. Then I want also want to buy here. So this, those are my two buy conditions. And we're going to sell using either a take profit of 40 percent or using the trailing stop uh, that i i personally like and found for this strategy the trailing stop in this case will be that after it reaches 20 percent profits then it's going to start trailing the stop from minus 2.5 percent meaning that if it reaches 20 then it's going to move the stop loss to 17 point 50% profits and then if the price keeps going up without going below your stop loss well you're still going to be on the trade right i also have added a few conditions that i'm going to show you on the description on how to avoid lows low satoshi pairs in this case uh, anything below 130 satoshis and how to change the volume the, so this strategy will only apply and can, can be adjusted depending on the volume that you trade, right? I mean, if this coin probably has, you know, as you see on the chart, has barely any volume. So you cannot buy a single BTC of this without actually moving up the price because there is a lot of a spread or maybe there's not enough volume in the books for you to, to get in. So that's something we can adjust and put on, on the strategy. In this case, that only becomes an issue when you're trading, let's say, with more than five thousand dollars per position so if you're trading with 300 bucks per position you should be fine okay so let's see now the results of rec trade on this strategy was uh, was run was ran around in from 2019 at the beginning of the year until today which is october 17 
and as we see right, I'm, I'm running on all BTC pairs using allowing it to buy up to 50 positions meaning that if my account is 100% and it can buy 50, 50 positions then it's gonna use 2% per position of my whole balance and as you see right it's it does quite well I think there is a problem because BTT shouldn't be here but anyway we can fix that and let's see anyway so we get a t total result of 40% in 10 months and this will be BTC right so if you are one of those maximalists that you don't really care about their the USD value right there are some people that are like that then you have gotten 40.20% with this strategy now I imagine you can optimize it and you know do better that's up to you I try to not overfit my my strategies anyway this was this will have been roughly 3.82 percent per month after taking in consideration the commissions so it's not that bad I think if you try it on the eat pairs you, you should be getting similar or better results like on the eat Ethereum markets so we'll show you that in another video um, if you have any questions feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of material